Good morning comrades and welcome to day 3 of the Pikmin 2 No Death Run. I'm Multigame Master 1 reporting in and today we're going to explore a new area, the Awakening Wood. So let's go ahead and get things started. Here we go! Ah, the Awakening Wood. I wonder what new and exciting trials await us today in this area. Initially the forest has a spring-like setting. It already seems as though that spring is up in the air. And wherever there are peaceful places like this, there is also bound to be danger. Transmission from the ship? Good morning. It should please you to know the Purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hull. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. How can I even sleep inside a ship? Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple Pikmin out. So as the ship explained, we just stand in the ring of light below it, press A, and from here, we can take out our purple Pikmin. Now let's get things started. The first thing we're going to do is to boost up the Pikmin population for the red Pikmin, which is why I'm focusing on these Peliposes and also these enemies over here. Go get him, Pikmin! There you go. Bigger Bulborb over here, let's take that out as well. It's good to use Purple Pikmin against enemy bugs, because occasionally whenever they land on the ground near enemies, they will create a resounding thud that stuns nearby enemies. This makes them very useful out in the battlefield, as well as gives you the upper hand against the enemies. Okay, now let's see, what else do we have around here? We got some more pellet posies over here. You can never have too many Pikmin, that's all I can say. Okay, now let's have Louie gather the red Pikmin out of the onion so that we can continue boosting their population. Rise and shine, red Pikmin! Okay, let's get a move on. Oh, I didn't mean to drop that. Carry that in. Thank you. Transmission from the ship, as well as new enemies that are ahead of us, which I will explain a little later. Louie, has Almar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with C. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to group by color. Now for the bonus lesson. First, press and hold A to pick up a Pikmin. Then, while you hold A, press B to swap between different colored Pikmin. This is the first time you have heard this? Well, technically, it would be my second time, but apparently it's a first for Louis, and Olimar never told him. Olimar, remember to properly train new employees! Sheesh, does the ship really have to get stern with Olimar all the time? In addition to swapping between color Pikmin, you can also press up and down on the directional pad in order to swap between leaf Pikmin and budded Pikmin. With that, let's keep moving. By the way, the brand new enemies that we faced back there were Sheer Grubs, but those were only the female versions. We've yet to see the purple male versions. And over here, we have some berry plants that seem to have some berries on them. They may be useful for later, so let's go ahead and take some with us. Don't go up there, Pikmin. Oh wait, we seem to have a problem with the onion. Apparently, no more Pikmin seeds are being produced. Alamar. We have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? I doubt it. Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once? That's correct. But I currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? Maybe. If there are, we'll have to come across them at some point. Now let's get back to grabbing the rest of these berries. It should be worth mentioning that each berry plant that you find will yield 5 berries for the Pikmin to pluck. Treasures made it back, 170 Pokos, Sunsea Berry. It's actually a giant strawberry. And with that, we've recovered 10% of the company debt. 
we're one step closer to reaching our ultimate goal. Also, the berry has made it back to the ship, so now the ship will be able to analyze it and see what we can do with it. Astounding! This red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. Will do, ship. Which is why we're focusing on these berries right now even as we speak. No, don't go back up the plant, there are no more berries. Okay, now from here, since we have the maximum amount of Pikmin out in the field for so far, we can pluck these guys out of the ground. Wait, Alamar should be helping me with this. Alamar, where are you? Alamar, there you are. Get over here. Don't leave Gloovy to do all of the work. Okay. Plucking these guys out of the ground. Hurry up, Alamar. Tenth Fairy has made it back to the ship, so now we should be able to make use of that red liquid. Captain Alamar, my research on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful potion. Behold, the Ultra Spicy Spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing 2. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from 10 berries. Press the positive button to contact me and confirm your berry count by pressing left on the directional pad. This I will show right now, so press the positive button and then the left directional pad in order to bring up a small menu on the left indicating ultra spicy spray and how many berries you have currently and how many berries you need in total for you to get some more spray. Now back to plucking these guys. Okay, now let's see if we can find anything else throughout this part of the area. Come on, Pikmin. Keep up with us now. Uh, Purple Pikmin, why don't you investigate that tall stack of grass over there? The reason I'm having the Pikmin investigate this tall stack of grass is because occasionally it will yield yellow liquid such as that. And it will cause the Pikmin to mature into flowers. The yellow liquid is nectar, by the way. The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar instantly mature into flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing. Like plants, Pikmin mature from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Alomar, you must share the information you have with your subordinate, Louie. So be sure to keep an eye out for any source of nectar that you can possibly find, as you will need it in order to have the Pikmin fully mature into flowers and therefore increase their speed. Okay, let's see. Did everyone get their fill? Wait, I see a couple of Pikmin that haven't gotten their fill of nectar. Seems like we're gonna have to go out and find some more. More sheer grubs. Speaking of enemies, for every new enemy that we come across, I will leave their names as to what they are called as well as an image to what they look like so that way you guys can be referenced as to the enemy bugs found on the planet as well as what they look like anything over here there is an iridescent flint beetle let's go ahead and chase it down because as you recall from the last game we can get goodies from it come back here however there is a bit of a downside to this and i'll explain more about it after we pick this red liquid up. The red liquid you see contains refined ultra spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Press two to spray this extract on your entire group. Have you tried it yet? Uh, no, but we will at some point. Now, as I was saying, in Pikmin 1, you could basically just chase the iridescent flint beetle around and flip it as many times as you want to in order to get the goods from it. But in this game, you can only flip them over three times. And the reason why I use purple Pikmin against it is because they provide you a better chance as to flipping the iridescent flint beetles around with ease as they create a resounding thud on the ground. Also, that 
creature you saw back there was known as a honey wisp, which doesn't carry around nectar, but carries an egg instead. And the kind of thing that you can get from eggs like that varies between four different things, and nectar is one of them. If I can, I'll show you guys the rest of the things that can be contained inside eggs as well, whether they are good or bad. More of these majestic butterflies over here. Let's take them down. There we go. Got them all down. Oh wait, did I call the Pikmin back for some reason? Didn't mean to do that. Okay, now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be something inside this pot over here. And there is! It's a golden iridescent flint beetle. These creatures are exceptionally rare to find, so the moment you see it, get the goods from it instantly. Oh no, you're not getting away from me. Don't. Gotcha. Okay, now we can take this with us. And also this. Like I said before, golden iridescent flint beetles are extremely rare to find. So the moment you see it, make sure you get the goods from it. Because it could possibly be the last time that you'll see it. But well, then again, maybe it couldn't be. Okay, now what should we do from here? More of the berries have been produced on the berry plants. But we have plenty of ultra spicy spray as it is, so we're just going to leave it be. Right now, let's just have the Pikmin take down this wall over here. The Pikmin should be done over here, so let's gather the rest of the group. And from here, we're actually going to do a little experiment. Let's first gather all the Pikmin together, then press the 2 button to spray. As you will see, the ultra spicy spray causes them to become extremely agitated. Astounding! The heads of the Pikmin are glowing, and they seem extremely agitated. The Ultra Spicy Spray appears to increase Pikmin speed and attack power. What a discovery! A fine discovery indeed. So as you see, the Ultra Spicy Spray causes the Pikmin to become extremely agitated, and it increases their speed and attack power, making the spray very useful. This way, we can get numerous things done in a shorter amount of time. Speaking of time, it seems as though that we're halfway done throughout the day. But I do have a plan as to how I'm going to tackle this day. Speaking of which, I should mention my plans about tackling each day. So, we can find treasure on the planet's surface as well as in caves. During the day, I'm going to find as much treasure as I can outside. And during sunset, I'm going to delve into one cave and see if we can find some more treasure in there. Right here is a brand new enemy known as a Cloaking Burrow Knit, if I'm not mistaken. And its weakness is its face, so have your Pikmin focus on its face. Where are the rest of my Pikmin? There you are. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. There's treasure up there, but we can't get to it right now. Oh, that's clever. That's really, really clever. That is a creepy chrysanthemum plant. It does a very good job of camouflaging itself against enemies such as Pikmin and Almar and Louie. Of course, in our eyes, we don't consider them to be enemies, but the enemy bugs on this planet consider them to be enemies. You guys pretty much get the idea. Okay. By the way, you should be careful in order to avoid those creeping chrysanthemum plants. Because you never know when you could get a surprise attack from them. Okay, let's actually get some more berries because we're not doing anything else important as of right now. Come on down, Pikmin. Alright, let's get this berry over here. And while they do that, we're going to check out the area up ahead. See if there's anything that we need to do. Wait, I see another cave up ahead. You know what that means. Another spelunking adventure. Look at it. <laughs> Biological senses are reacting violently. The rings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. 
Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Relax, relax. As we recall from the last game, Red Pikmin are impervious to fire, so we can use them as the means of surviving against the cave that we will come across as soon as we gather all of our Pikmin together. Okay, the Pikmin should be done, so now we can proceed to the cave. Onwards, to treasure. More berries on that plant. I'm not going to focus too much on the berries, by the way. Because I really don't want to have to waste a whole lot of time in the day anyway. Also over there is a bag, but... We need a maximum amount of 200 Pikmin in order for us to crush the bag. So it seems as though that we're going to have to find some more purple Pikmin. And I'll bet that we can if we go down this cave. And as we can see, the only danger is fire. As I said before, we have red Pikmin and they are flame resistant. So we're pretty much good to go at this point. Banzai! Here we go! 